How's it going, Carl here? Today, we're going to be auto-tuning our voice and audacity. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this. Now, I'll show you guys some of my singing skills. All right, let's get into it. All right, the first thing we want to do is you want to go to this link here. And I provided that link down in the description. So once you get to this link, depending on if you have a Windows, Mac, or Linux, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm on a Mac. So we're going to go to download snap. That's going to download once it downloads. And I've already done this, but I'll just go through the prompts again with you guys. It's going to give you this folder right here. So you want to click on that folder. Make a copy of this. Then you want to go to your applications. Click on Audacity. Right click on Audacity. Show package contents. Go to contents. Go to plugins. And you want to just drop that item. Boop. And then what you can do is you can sort by name just to make sure that uh, that's been added. And you see it right there. G snap. All right. So now that you've done that, you can go back to your applications. Double click on Audacity. Once you have that open, let's just pull it out to the bottom right here. Good deal. So you're going to go to generate, add plugins, and what you want to do is just click on what's disabled, and it, it looks like it's, it's good to go. Then click on what's new just to see if it'll pop up there. G Snap, boom. So G Snap is there. Then click on enable to enable it. You can go back to all, click OK. That clock is usually a good signal. Go to effects and then you will see G snap. Now, what you want to do is just restart recording. So once you hit record, it'll just be your simple voice. So I'm going to do a quick audio. I've been living without limits. As far as my business, I'm the only one that's in control. I've been feeling all I've given for my children. I will die for those I love. All right, we'll stop right there. And that audio track kind of gets spaced out. I meant to hit that one. All right, so I'm going to give y'all some audio right quick just to let y'all hear it. So here we go. I've been living without limits as far as my business. I'm the only one that's in control. I've been feeling. All right, so. So y'all basically hear what that sounds like. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to just select this audio. And then we're going to go to effects. And we're going to drop G snap down on top of it. Now, this is the part where everybody is like, Yo, how do you set this and how do you set that and what frequency to use and how, you know, what percentage to put it on as far as my amount and my threshold and everything else. Look, I've watched a lot of YouTubes on this, just to be honest, and nobody kept it simple. So that's what I'm going to do for y'all right now. I'm going to keep it so simple. You're going to be like, ah, that's it. So all you got to do, you go to the factory presets now in my opinion you can play with all of these but in my opinion the one that works the best is share the pain if you click on that hit apply close it 
one thing you can't forget as well is you gotta highlight the you gotta highlight the part that you want the effect to be on. Share the pain apply now you see it shrinks down and what you can do before you even go back to um the main pain you can play it right here so just just take a listen i've been living without limits as far as my business i'm the only one that's in control i've been feeling all I've given for my children, I will die for those I love. Not if I go ahead and mess my life up. <laughs> but that's how you do it, man. And um, it's pretty simple. It's, it's straightforward. You click apply, you close it, and you can just, you know, keep playing with it and Fix it up the way you like it. Now, let's try let's try to do a long hold so you can really hear the I guess the auto tune effect. So let's go the off click that. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of that track. And let's just do a long hold. Somebody help me, please. All right, so just let's listen to, I guess, that normal. I'm not a singer, so don't, you know, don't, don't judge. But if we want to go ahead and look at the, listen to the difference in that, G snapping it again, actually, you just can't forget to, to do this first. Go to G snap. We have that plug in. We go to our factory presets. Like I said, I'm using share the pain for the sake of this, but you can play around with all the other ones. You apply it. And we can go ahead and close it because we know it's gone. Somebody help me, please. And there it is. All right, guys. So that's it, man. That's how you auto tune. Now, I know. You guys are going to be like, this is the video I need to share because this dude that taught me how to do auto tune. I need to teach my boy how to do auto tune or my homegirl how to auto tune because I know they're working on building a podcast or trying to make a sound or trying to make a song or something like that. And this is the video to share. So make sure you share this video, hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and we'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm Carl. Peace.